What is going on everyone and welcome back to Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom! Last time we got our first golden spatula and started on our journey this time! We are actually going to get a couple more, well should I say a couple more, more like one. <laughs> golden spatulas! Alright so starting off we're going to start here and little, 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 uh, little Spongebob. Spongebob's neighborhood, yes, we are going to start here. Because there's going to be a lot of stuff for us to do right now. Now first off is over here, well you know what, what should we go to? We already talked to Polite, and he's the first one we talked to. Um, let's talk to Mr. Krabs. What does he gotta say? This flapping robot crisis is making flapping, <laughs> flapping. No money means no more crusty crab. No more crusty crab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> no more fry cooking. But because you're gullible, I'm gonna. <laughs> I forget about that scene. <laughs> Sorry, I just raped your ears, but that was great. And I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. You will. You will. Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chests looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. Alright, so when we get 30, uh, 30, 30,000, 3,000 shiny objects, we can come back to him and we can trade with him. Now, he's going to be pretty much all over the world. Right here, he starts off right here, but once we proceed more into the game, he'll move around. Now, obviously, the more um, things we get for him, the more my each one's going to cost, but that's how that's going to go. Anyway, let's go. We could go into Squidward's right now, but let's go talk to uh, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. Nice sock, yeah. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. <laughs> robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. <laughs> All right, so yeah, every time we get, we gotta get ten of these, and every time we get ten of them, obviously, we can uh, bring them back to Patrick. They are hidden throughout the world. Those who don't know, obviously, they're gonna be hidden throughout the world. But nonetheless, we could get this golden s spatula over here, but I don't want to do that. I want to go over here. <laughs> I know I'm making such bad decisions, but here I already talked to him, but on accident. To defeat robots or tiki's that are directly above you. He just teaches how te teaches us how to fight, pretty much like uh. Like it did in the library last episode, but yeah, we just do that, and that'll teach us how to do that. It's pretty, it's pretty neat. neat. Eh, I'm actually trying to see if I can. I forget. I always forget how to get that one over there. Pretty sure you get jump on it, but it's been a while, like I said, since I played this. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna get all of these now. Too bad we can't go over there because that's gonna be very nice later on. But we can't go over there. As you see, it says we need 15. Of course we do. Why else would we need them? All right, let's go get kill these tiki's. Yes, I say kill because they're, they're living things. I mean, look at them. They're <coughs> moving their mouths around. Ooh, excuse me for my burp. But anyway. Alright, let's go over here. Make sure we collected everything. I want to make sure we collected everything on here. Because once we collected everything, they will be gone for good. Alright, let's go to, let's go to Squidward's Tiki. See if he's actually in here. First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? <laughs> Help out more than enough. Ha! <laughs> ha! Move to another town. Ha! I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. Wait, you're actually not supposed to be bad? <gasps> Thank you! Sorry. No, seriously, what we're supposed to do is actually, literally, destroy everything. Now, when I first played this, I didn't understand that's what he meant by that. But, we go up here, we'll get this. Now, here's a nice little e Easter egg, if I can get up if I can get up there. That'd be nice. Now, here's a nice little Easter egg. You go over here by Squidward, just attack it. Yeah, it gives you a sock! I don't know how a, a sock just appears there, but it does. Anyway, is there anything else for me to destroy? I don't think so. And actually, Squidward Place, Squidward's Place, is actually way bigger than this. It's, it, I think it's two floors, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's right. I forget. You do. 
What was it? There's one more thing. Okay, there we go. Stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward, I knew that you could help me out. Don't touch me. Hmm. So yeah, that gives us a golden spatula, so it's well worth your time. Not only do you get a sock for uh for Patrick, but you also get a golden spatula, which is really, really nice. And I think that's yeah, I think that's it. Alright. So now, actually, now that we got that, we are actually going to Patrick's place. Now, Patrick's place is just going to be just like Squidward, just going to let you know. So, just like in uh, Patrick, or just like Patrick, just like in Squidward's, we got we to gotta go in here, and literally all we have to do, just to get what we need, I don't think this gives us a spatula. It might, yes, this is all that we have. Literally, this is how big it is. Um, we go over here, break his, that, and look what we get. Another sock. We already have... Four socks already. Socks aren't very hard to find. If you, there are some, like I said, there are some that are hidden. But some of them are just in plain sight, and you can't get a, get to them. You might not be able to get to, to them your first try, but you will for sure your second time or third time, whatever how long it takes. Because we will be going back to some of these places once in a while, maybe two, three times, depending on how much we actually go there. All right, so what I actually want to do is get that spatula that's shining over there. There's also something else, but I'm not going to tell what that is. You probably already know what it is by just by looking. Uh, we got to go over here, and I believe if I just do this, oops, go over here, boom. I'll bring up that. And then what that will do, sorry about that. I just got a message. Of course, I always do. I'll go away in a short period of time. Now what we're supposed to do, we could do both of these at the same time, or we can do what I'm doing. Make it a little, well, I should say a little bit faster, but we could have done that and then done that, but, oh, shit, I already screwed it up. Oh, oh, nope, eh, eh, eh. Up here, hopefully we have enough time. We should have enough time. I remember when I first started out this, I actually screwed this up, my first ever Let's Play of doing this. It was sad, but at the same time, it was actually pretty impressive because I missed the first couple times. But anyway, it, we still had 10 seconds left, so I knew I wasn't going to screw it up that time. So that's a good sign. Anyway, now we got ourselves three. Now, are we done? Of course we're not done. Why would we be done? Why Why would we be done? This video's only been like, what, seven minutes, seven and a half minutes, seven minutes or so? It's highly not even close to being long enough. So, what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to get all these... And then we can talk to Patrick. He wouldn't say much to us, but find my I love this part. Not yet, Patrick. Oh. Did, they Did they find you? Oh, I love that part. I don't know why, but that part always gets me. Now, I don't know if I said this the last episode, but every time you come back, you leave a spot and come back, the Tiki's will respond. So if you need like a couple shiny objects or something like that, always come back to a place that you just came from. It's always nice to do. I mean, now that we have four pairs of underwear, I know, pretty great. That's pretty impressive, right? We can finally go to Jellyfish Fields. Now, this is going to be fun. I love it every time you go to a new place. You call a taxi, and you go to that location. That's great. Now, this is probably one of my favorite parts about this game, is some of the intros to new, new areas, because we always get a nice little nice little view of the areas. Jellyfish Fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. No shit, Sherlock. Oh, hi, Squidward. Looks like you're having a, gr a blast over there. Literally. Ha <laughs> ha! Talk about double trouble. More like triple trouble. Ha! <laughs> I just probably raped your guys' ears, but... Oh, that was great. That was great. And I love their cries, by the way. Squidward, are you okay? I don't know, is he? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. <laughs> Do I look like I'm okay? Yes. Well, your nose does look pretty big. <laughs> because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! <laughs> but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the jellyfish <laughs> manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of king jellyfish jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> king j -j jellyfish? Yes. Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. 
You do that! Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish Jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Mmm. Alright, so you tagged him again. So out, did you out find the out King Jelly Outfish? <laughs> Alright. So now we're gonna be introduced to our first enemy once I get down here. Actually, no, we will not be. So what all he does is literally he just attacks you. You just gotta hit him back. Nothing very too special. I forget their names, but they do have a name. Um, I should really should look up their name. If I do, then I'll probably say it in the next episode or so. But I should really look up their name because I always seem to forget about their name. Now we go over here. This is Goo. No shit. SpongeBob Chapter can't swim, so don't fall in. Hmm, we can't swim apparently. Now over here is probably one of my favorite mechanics in this game. This is kind of like fast traveling over here. This is a teleport box. There are two of them in each area. It just helps us so we can get to one place to another fast, pretty fast. It's it's pretty nice. All right, so let's go let's go collect this. Now over here, you see this little looks like a it looks like a vo uh, Voyo Bloom from Pokemon, but it's not obviously. Go over here and a collection additional. It's telling us again how to click underwear. I love every time when um. We see an enemy or something, Spongebob acts kind of funny, but again, weird. Alright, we can go over here and we can try to get something. Which, is there anything up here? Yep, there's just a little shiny object, which is pretty... I wouldn't say too hard to get it. If you're not very good at platforming, then it can be pretty difficult. But I'm, I'm okay. I, sh I say I'm okay, but anyway. So what we have to actually do is we have to go up here. And this is a nice way to get shiny objects. Is that'll give us that, which is pretty nice. I always love doing this every time I come down. Just... I slam! Okay, it's always fun doing that. You get a nice little combo with that too, so it's always well, well, well worth your time. Uh, obviously, there's going to be some parts in here where we get ginormous, ginormous, ginormous combos. And it's wonderful. I love it every time. Now, if we actually go over here, which is actually a good secret. I actually did not know about this. my first playthrough playing through this game. It was in a very, very, very weird spot. Go over here. Destroy everything. And then destroy these. Now, obviously, if, once we go over there, you'll be able to see that we can come over here. And then you'll see the sock. Whoa, and it gives us a reminder to uh, go back there. Oh, a bunch of shiny objects. Hmm, foreshadowing, isn't it? But yeah, there's one of the hidden shit. Uh, hidden shit. No, hidden shiny objects, which is pretty nice. Now, we go over to this little, little clam. Of course, it's gonna, we have to pay. Just like any other game, you have to pay to proceed. Not gonna pay him yet, unfortunately, because I want to get some more if I can help myself. Eh. This is actually good practice for my. <clears throat> there we go. I got all of those. Perfect. So we have 645, way more than enough. All right. So now we have to pay that, and then an airplane will drop it on us. Okay, now we can finally go over. Hmm. All right. I gotta go over because I really need shiny objects. They're gonna be very important. You could try to jump in there and get those, but eh. Like I said, they're going to be very, very important to us later. So anyway, this is a checkpoint. Very helpful, actually. If you're defeated after acting a checkpoint, you restart at the checkpoint. So they're pretty nice, so you don't have to go all the way to the beginning. Very, 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 very nice. There's that guy. Killed him. All right, let's see. I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out what... Okay. Over here. We have so much loot we have to care get. It's ridiculous. There's so much stuff we can do right here. Okay, over here. Do some combos. Now, we go over to a... Right over here, you see that there's a little suck over there. Go up here. This is a frozen fruit. Only Patrick can use that. Why? Because SpongeBob's a weak wuss and cannot carry anything. Yes, that's actually the reason. So, yeah, he can't do it right now. We can't do this quite yet. We can do it later when we have Patrick. But we don't have Patrick, those who don't know. We can only, we can play as Patrick, and we can play as SpongeBob, which is kind of nice. Not gonna lie, that's actually pretty nice. Alright, I could... Can I go down there? Is it down there that they're over? I'm trying to remember where they are. Oh yeah, there's a hidden thing right there. I didn't see that right there at first. Alright, let's get these. Nice, nice shiny objects. Money, money. Obviously, it's gonna be our currency, but who knew, right? Not me or anything. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm gonna go here. I like, I like the way Spongebob runs. He runs always kind of funny. He obviously tiptoes and all that, but... Combo! Hey, combo! I love Ultra Combo! Hey, that's kind of good! Kind of good. That's very good. Why would I say it's kind of good? That's very good. The more shiny objects, the merrier, right? Alright, now over here, we will be able to go over here eventually. Not now, but eventually. Keep this in mind over here. We'll be over there, like I said. 
soon, soon, soon. And by soon, I mean, okay, I was gonna say, I mean very soon, but never mind. Not very soon. Now, as we're going up here, we're gonna have an enemy, or we're gonna have a cannon fire these little, they look like fish, actually. As Mason would say, they look like your family. But, uh, yeah, they're gonna be firing these at us. All we do is literally run up to it, hit it, it's destroyed. Pretty, pretty simple stuff. Alright, we could continue, but let's talk to Gary. Alright, that's actually a real thing. If we bungee some bungee jump, we have a chance to get a golden spatula. This is where all of our money comes in. So we can grab all this money. This one's very simple, but as we proceed in the game, they will get harder and harder. So yeah, we only SpongeBob can do this, not other characters can do this. Obviously I'm we already know Patrick so be one of the characters. There's a couple more other characters that we can play as. Not gonna spoil them, but we can play as them. Alright, let's continue on. Hit this button as it sounds too i don't think yeah this isn't timed but it's pretty nice animation of like uh them coming up i don't know what those are called but like the cliffs coming up it's really cool how that's possible i don't know i always love hitting min i'm trying to hit en um, enemies midair but it's very hard to do i don't know why it is but it is now right here new enemy now this is one of the enemies that i used to be terrified of when i first started They're literally beating us with ham. Ham! Why? I don't know. Okay. So I don't think we get it inter... No, we do not get it introduction, these guys. Oh, the puns. Hamblers, as I like to call them. That's probably what SpongeBob calls them. But that's what they are. Okay, we go over here. Get a big combo, which is going to be very helpful for us. Yeah, but these hamblers are not very hard to defect. Defect. Defend against they're actually pretty easy. You just gotta try to avoid their attacks pretty much with any other enemy now right here This is a bowling ball Bowling ball. We cannot do this right now because we don't have the ability to do this if we do this This will give us a sock Which is pretty pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually gonna be very very helpful to us later But unfortunately, it's not helpful helpful to us right now, which kind of sucks because Having socks be kind of nice because like I said socks give us They give us nice stuff that we can use for later on all right, we can always go over there too, but I don't think I really need the, si the shiny objects. As weird as that sounds, I I know I should be like, you should always be going for shiny objects. And trust me, I do go for them. It's just of whatever I can. I mean, now that I say that, it's like, oh, you could have went for that, but whatever. Anyway, go up here, and then we go over here. And this part, oh, I used to, I actually died to, oh, around here a couple times, believe it or not. When I first started out, I died here around here. It, it wasn't a pleasant time, let's just say, for the least. Alright, right here, it's telling us how to, uh, to avoid goo if you didn't know about the first time. But I, I looked at... I almost got hit right there. That could have been terrible. <sighs> we could go for that shiny object. Now, one thing I do like is if you actually get the timing right, you can hit the enemies together and it will hit them and get a nice little combo, which is pretty nice. I could jump on that, but I don't really want to risk that right now. However... I do want to get these, because these are going to be very nice. This one's pretty easy to get to, so it's no problem unless you're terrible at parkouring. And I'm actually not too bad on this game, this one's actually pretty nice. But we get a crap ton of shiny objects. Well, well worth our time coming here. We could go for two, but I don't really feel like going for two. <laughs> but anyway, we go up here and this will give us a sock, which is very nice. Now what we can do, just hit this. This will literally just bring it back to the start. So it's no big deal. So, I mean, you don't have to worry about going all the way back. Now, this right here will start to tip on us, which I fell down a couple times my first Let's Play, not gonna lie. Now, right here, we can use this so we can always go back. I don't think I discovered the other one. I probably should have, but I didn't. Now, this is the Duplicator Tron. Obviously, all we gotta do is just run up to it. If we don't destroy it, unfortunately, it'll just keep uh, spawning enemies for us, which isn't actually that bad, because it'll actually... I mean, it's good for shiny objects if you really want to get it. Um, also, when you destroy them, you do not want to be very close to them because they do explode and they do cause damage. So that's going to be another thing that you're going to want to do. 
All right, let's get this, because we've officially, well, I shouldn't say officially, we've completed Jellyfish Fields, believe it or not. We've actually completed, we already have our five golden dispatches. We could go to the next area, but obviously we're not going to go to the next area. Why? Because we're going to Jellyfish Caves in the next episode. So in the next episode, guys, we are going to go into Jellyfish Fields, all right? See you guys then.